didn't buy a Hong Kong ticket, did you? Here, <laughs> but you are not going to Hong Kong. <laughs> Do you work for Landy? Me? Work? For Landy-sama? <laughs> That's my dream! What do you want with me? You know about Julian Da! Tell me all you know! Landy-sama hates Julian Da! So I'll be rewarded for this information! <laughs> so you know about Landy? Just who the hell is he? Only tell you if you prove stronger than me. So I finally get to fight this creep. Oh, he really is a golem. He even fights like golem. Oh. Get up! Oof! So yeah, I was... Just take it easy and rest today. So yeah, I was waiting for noon to come around so I could meet uh, meet him up at the U arcade, and as soon as noon hit, it just automatically cut to that cutscene with the creepy skinhead. So let's see here, that skinhead showed up again. Who is he? Where did he go? Could Jimmy from Asia Travel Company be one of them? I knew... I knew Jimmy looked, uh... He's gotta be his brother or something. The skinhead guy's got less teeth, but they look exactly alike. So... Let's make our way to Asia Travel Company again. Ine san is always there for me. And he was he's a tough fighter, no doubt about that. I took a look at uh, took a look at the menu recently and all the moves that Ryu has. And it's pretty surprising how many moves they included in this game. I know that they kind of based it off the Virtua Fighter engine, but it's uh, for how often you actually get to use those moves and how often you actually get to fight, there's a, a surprising amount of moves closed. Hey. What's your problem? Damn! Stop! Oh, what? Ah! Hey, you! Hey, stop! Damn! Hey, what are you sorry. doing? Hey, wait! Uh, what the? Uh, get out of my way! I'm uh, sorry! What the? Uh, you okay? Yes. Uh, 
Damn, he got away. Man, I biffed that up. I was doing good at first. Oh my god. These quick time events are killing me. Alright, let's do it again. I hey. can usually do it the second time. What's your problem? Damn! Stop! What? Oh my god. Pressure's on. Hey, you! Hey, stop! Damn! Hey, what are you doing? Hey, wait! What the? Get out of my way! I'm sorry. Oh. What the? Terrible. You okay? Yes. Yeah. Forgive me! Give me my ticket! I don't have it anymore! Cut the crap! <laughs> I'm sorry! <laughs> I'm sorry! An employee ran off with the money! Please don't hurt me! I got a wife and kids! That's your problem. I still don't have the ticket I paid for. Here, take this ticket to the Philippines. I don't need this. I'm planning to skip town tonight. See, I'm broke, bankrupt, cleaned out. I can't get no ticket anywhere. Quit lying. <laughs> Who's that skinhead? I don't know for sure, but I think he's connected to the Mad Angels. Mad Angels? <laughs> Where are they? I can't tell. They'll kill me. Tell me. The, the harbor. Who's their boss? I I don't know, but they extort from the harbor workers. If you weren't there, you'd meet them. Why is that? Because they always harass the new guys. The harbor. That little punk. Mad Angels, gang who extorts and harasses harbor workers. I'll meet the Mad, mad Angels if I work in harbor, so I'll go look for work. So I might finally get to work on that, that forklift job. The infamous forklift job. Whenever you heard about Shenmue back in the day, you always heard about the forklift job. Not that there was anything necessarily exciting about it, but actually having a job in a game back then was something that was pretty unique. So let's make our way to the docks. If I work in her, so let's I'll go look for work. Oh man, those quick time events. Kill me. I thought for sure I was going to fail this second time around. And, uh, that would not have been fun. So let's wait for the bus, make our way to the harbor. There we go. And off we go. Sure has taken a while to get to Hong Kong. There's too many shady characters. question is where do I find work? Well, let's see here. Let's ask around. Excuse me. Huh? What is it? Do you know a place around here where I can get a job? 
A job. As a security guard or in cargo transport? Either one's fine. Well, why don't you visit the offices? The offices? There are security offices and trading offices. All right. I'll try going there. All right, well. Where are they, though? I suppose this building looks like it might hold some promise. Hmm. It's not letting me run in here. I thought I used to be able to run in Excuse inside. me. Yes! What is it? Can you give me a job? Is work at the harbor difficult? No. Out of work? Yes. I'd love to help, but I just work here, you see? Hmm. Well then, let's make our way out here. I don't know why it's not letting me run. Cause sworn I used to be able to run inside. Yeah, let's take a look around. Ah, oh, here we go. This looks like it might hold some promise. Or is it just another warehouse? Um, can I help you? I want to get a job in the harbor. A job? I'm sorry, but we have more than enough workers right now. I see. Do you know any company accepting applications for workers? Are you still in high school? Yes. Very few companies hire high school students at the harbor, you know. Is that so? I saw someone your age recently. He was looking for work, too. Was he a high school student? I think so. But he looked pretty delinquent. He was around warehouse number 12. I see. Warehouse number 12. I didn't know Rio was that young. I don't know if they mentioned his age before, but... So, they actually got the numbers written on the floor here. Number 18... Number 1 through 17. So, let's go this way then. But yeah, I don't don't recall that. He looks older than high school age, that's for sure. Ah! And these ones do not have numbers on them. Number 12 to 17, okay. We're going in the right direction here. We can manage to not get hit by a high low. Let's see here. Is this 12? Hey, hey, hey. Couldn't hold the door open for me. Um, sorry, but I'm working now. Can't chat with you, kid. Don't need my supervisor bitching at me. Sure. Hmm. Well, where's your supervisor? And there's nobody else in here. can't go out there. I thought the guy in warehouse number 18 he said there was another kid hanging around. Um, excuse me. Yes? I'm looking for a job at the harbor. A job? We don't have any here. We have enough people. I see. What the hell? Can a man get a job around here or what? hard out here.
Oh, you. Seem a bit blue, my man? Got a problem? Then I'm your man! Yeah, right. I know everything about this tier harbor! Whatever it is, just ask! I want a job here. What should I do? So wanna be a sailor, hey? That's cool, man! Personally, it ain't for me. <laughs> I get seasick. <laughs> Enough. Whoa, wait, hold up! I'll be man! I just happen to know a number of foremen in charge of cargo! Really? Hey, anything for you, bro? Can you ask? Mm, well... Mm. Okay, meet me at noon tomorrow, in front of the big blue door of warehouse number one. Twelve noon, warehouse number one, in front of the big blue door. Right on, bro. See ya. I don't know what the hell he was supposed to be. Goro says he'll find a job for me tomorrow noon at warehouse number one at Blue Door. Is he an Asian Elvis impersonator? He looked kind of like Elvis, but I didn't... What's this guy doing? Hey, sir. Sir. Alright, he doesn't want anything to do with me. So 12 noon in front of the the big blue door. Which warehouse number one. So we will call it a day. And we will meet Goro in front of warehouse number one at noon. Looks like we still have to wait a little bit longer before we can make our way to Hong Kong.